Trump gets last laugh after City of West Hollywood votes to remove his star from Walk of Fame. The people seem to be suffering from Trump derangement syndrome over at the West Hollywood City Council have voted unanimously to request that President Donald Trump's star is removed from the Walk of Fame. This was reported by numerous outlets and has traveled around Twitter a bit. The resolution will ask that the LA City Council and Hollywood Chamber of Commerce do something about the star, and that means they want it removed permanently. However, there's something funny about all the crybabies who want to remove a star. Well, there are a few funny things about it. The first is that Trump will ultimately get the last laugh because the mentally bizarre people who voted on this nonsense don't even have jurisdiction over the Walk of Fame, so they can't touch it anyway. They are literally voting on something that they are not allowed to touch. If that doesn't tell you how absurd and delusional that these people are, then what will? I know exactly what will. Hollywood is filled with alleged sexual predators, pedophiles, and absolutely deranged people. What about Kevin Spacey? Nah, his star is right next to Trump's star. He only possibly touched boys, no big deal there either. Trump worked on the economy and gave people tax cuts and he doesn't like people breaking the law to gain unlawful entry into the country and steal millions in benefits from taxpayers. That's it, get his star out of here. Trump is a horrible guy, how could they ever do a star for Trump? The people in the West Hollywood City Council are demented, right? Here are the facts from people. According to CBS Los Angeles. The council's resolution asks the Los Angeles City Council and Hollywood Chamber of Commerce to take the action regarding the star, which Trump received for his time on The Apprentice in 2007. The decision, CNN reported, is not legally binding because the West Hollywood City Council has no jurisdiction over the Walk of Fame. In a statement to CNN, West Hollywood Mayor John Duran said, The West Hollywood City Council did not pass the resolution because Donald Trump is a conservative or a Republican. Earning a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is an honor. When one belittles and attacks minorities, immigrants, Muslims, people with disabilities or women, the honor no longer exists. Duran added to the outlet that such a request has never been made before, but the circumstances compelled us to make an exception to the rule. Neither the West Hollywood City Council nor the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce immediately responded to people's requests for comment. This resolution comes just after Trump's star was destroyed by a man identified as Austin Clay, 24, wielding a pickaxe on July 25. Clay was charged with a felony on Monday for the alleged vandalization, according to CBS Los Angeles. The star has also been messed with in the past. In October 2016, James Otis attacked the star with a sledgehammer and pickaxe. He received three years probation, 20 community service days, and a $4,400 fine for the vandalism. In July 2016, Plastic Jesus, a street artist, built a wall around the star to make a political statement. And last month, comedian George Lopez pretended to pee on the star. Laron Gubler, the president of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, told People in 2016 that a star has never been removed from the walk. Once a star has been added to the walk, it is considered a part of the historic fabric of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Good luck getting a star removed that you're not allowed to touch. Good job having anyone take you serious when you won't remove sexual predators, but you want to remove a president. No one will ever take Hollywood serious if they even consider approving this nonsense on any sense of realistic approach. Their little sappy vote doesn't matter when they don't have jurisdiction in the first place. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.